Hello, my name is Sarah Lobigeiger Dara Rodriguez, and I'm the Chief Speech Pathologist at Voice Science, Melbourne's premier accent reduction, voice, stuttering, fluency, and elocution centre located on Collins Street, right in the heart of Melbourne. Today, I'm very excited to talk you through a few factors around the question of can you change your accent? This is a pressing question for many of our clients and we've heard this question for over six years in our clinic as we work towards improving our clients' pronunciation when speaking English. So today I'm going to break it down into five key answers to that question to give you information about realistic expectations and your current accent of English. Numero uno. Adults cannot mimic. Remember this, keep it close to your heart and your brain. Adults cannot copy sounds as effectively as children. This means that when you're learning English pronunciation, mimicry and parrotry, if that's even a word, are not going to work for you. While it's great to listen to lots of recordings of English speaking, things like audiobooks, even songs, perhaps your friends who are locals, copying the speech patterns without some skill and technique will not do much for you. Audiobooks, TV, radios, podcasts, they are brilliant for your listening comprehension, your vocabulary, and even grammatical prowess. But using these tools to effectively change your speaking pronunciation as an adult could in fact be a waste of time. The reason for this is if we go all the way back to language development starting from birth. While we're in the womb, we can hear the sounds of our mothers speaking. The brain starts to code and tune and develop a capacity to understand at birth the pronunciation of native speech that is the same as the accent of the mother. Right from our early formative years before we enter the world, or well, technically we're in the world, but before we pop out, we are already coding, assimilating and calibrating to the speech patterns of the language of our mother. Hence, it's our mother tongue. In our formative years as children, we can listen and copy. This is because the brain is neuroplastic and it's in overdrive to achieve communication proficiency, something that's so vital for our learning development our social interaction and our identity. From the teenage years, our capacity to hear, mimic and replicate, like a parrot, I guess we could say, reduces. The brain is simply less capable. Different learning strategies are needed. We know from research, and we see it daily in our clinic, once an adult knows the mechanical production of a sound, they can start to truly hear the difference between what they were previously producing and what their target is. So in our clinic, we will sit with you using our knowledge of neuroanatomy, physiology and speech therapy to show you how the muscles of your mouth need to move to form English sounds accurately. We know from research, once an adult has been shown how to produce the sound and achieves the production, it's only then that you'll start to perceive the maximal difference between your actual English target and your error, which is the sound that you've assimilated from your first language onto the English pronunciation. Another question we're often asked is, what do we start with? Well, at your first session with us after assessment, we identify the sounds that are having maximal impact on your speech clarity or speech manner and proceed with those. Every client is different, so every person has different speech patterns that come across, even if they're speaking the first and same mother tongue. We could have a Spanish client who really needs to work on their er. For some reason, it might be red, rio, this kind of sound. And in that case, that might be the very first goal that we'd recommend commencing with. 
In other cases, we might have a Spanish client from the exact same pueblo who needs work on their vows. Everyone is very different. Typically, our clinic proceeds with affecting change on the sounds that are distorted. Distortions are not like substitutions. They're speech sounds that are falling in the place of the target English sound that distract, that are so far from the target. These are the sounds we really want to work on. Unfortunately, one of the greatest challenges of English is indeed its consonants. Our consonant sounds are so different from many other languages, and in most cases, some of the consonants that we have for English speaking, a small handful, really only can be found in a few languages throughout the world. These key consonant sounds of English often are also frequent sounds that come out all the time, so it's really important to work on these. If we work on the frequent sounds and the sounds that are being distorted, we hopefully achieve a higher ratio of speech accuracy as soon as possible. The next thing you need to consider is not just the consonants. Some research actually suggests that vowels are even more vital to moving your accent closer to the target speech patterns. Have a little listen to this. Cuando me vo. That's an Australian accent producing the first phrase of an opera aria that I sing, which is written in Italian. Have another listen. Australian. Quando men vo. Italian. Quando men vo. The only difference between those two pronunciation phrases was the vowels. I think you can hear, vowels are everything. But vowels are also very mysterious. When we form them, they're often invisible. You can't see inside what the tongue is doing. So our clinic really aims to give you a visual understanding of what to do to form a vowel and to correct the vowels that you need for your English speaking. Accent modification is not an overnight success. You must remember this. We are not magicians. I wish I was. But we can't fix your accent overnight. In fact, we can't fix anything. That will have to be up to you. So what do you need to shift and move your pronunciation closer to native speech? Our clinic doesn't have the goal of making you sound native. We actually have a problem with this concept. We believe that bilingualism, or speaking even more than two languages, is an absolute strength. However, there is some research that if your speech is not clear, obviously your message won't transfer. If people can't understand what you're saying, or if it's too effortful to decode what you're talking about, your identity isn't as reflected as well. At times the speech really gets in the way. So your core goal could be to improve the clarity of your speaking. Sure, it's fine to have high goals like, I want to sound like an Australian native speaker, but I'm sure that's not your main goal. Why lose the language that you were born with? It's such a good thing. We all got a mother tongue. Thank goodness, what a great gift. In line with the fact that accent reduction is not an overnight thing, it's really important to know that sounds emerge gradually. Let's have a little look at how Sounds are acquired by you and the stages to nailing an English sound in your speaking. When we train sounds, we follow certain levels that are based on speech therapy research. The first one is sound in isolation. Let's use the sound t to model the example. If you can achieve sound in isolation like this, t, perfectly accurately, it won't come out in your speaking. We have to take it to the next step. Sound in isolation then moves to syllable. Syllable level is the sound next to a vowel. The sound can form at the front, the end, and then later at the middle. Ta, te, ti, and so on. Or at, et, it. So you have sound in isolation, syllable level, Next step is word level. We need to get the sound in the beginning, the middle 
and the end of words. And that's going to take a lot of daily drill. Time, at, after. So we got beginning, middle, end, word level. A lot of drill time is spent here daily to achieve accuracy. Once you've mastered word level at pretty high accuracy, let's just say 90% of words, if you read a list or produce them by themselves, are accurate, you won't get it in sentences yet. You'll have to practice that too. So the next step is phrase level. Can you make short, functional phrases with your target sound? Like, it's time, or time to, or take it. Next step, I'm sure you guessed, is sentence level. Using reading or writing a list of words, you should be able to place that individual target sound in every single position that you require it. Like, it's time to tell Tim to come. But if you can do it at sentence level, it doesn't mean it will come out in your speaking. The next step is transfer. Once you've moved through all these levels, do you have the capacity to take target words from a list or from the top of your head and produce spontaneous short phrases, moving to sentences, moving to paragraphs, moving to conversations, moving to public speaking with that one target sound in place. I hope through this model, as you've seen all the steps to achieving sound accuracy with just one sound, you know that accent modification is certainly not something that will be overnight success. It will take daily, constant practice and ongoing monitoring and awareness plus feedback from our team to get those goals nice and tight. Before we wrap up this video, I would love to hear from you about what you've done personally to improve your speaking pronunciation for English. And I'm sure our subscribers on our channel would really like to see some of the comments below about what's helped you improve your confidence, improve your sound accuracy, and get your speaking to the next level. So feel free to comment below. This is a forum for this kind of discussion and we'd love to hear from you. Accent modification was the first thing we started at, at Voice Science. It is the heart and soul of our business. In fact, I think all of my team would say, probably one of our favorite things to do is to work with someone to improve their pronunciation for English speaking. It's such a fascinating topic and there are so many sounds so we never get bored. Without further ado, my name is Sarah Lobegeiger, Dara Rodriguez. Chief Speech Pathologist at Voice Science, our services pivot around boosting your communication through research-based strategies. If you like this video, don't forget to do the things that you know, give it a thumbs up, feel free to share it with a friend, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Perhaps today's the day. Have a wonderful day. Ciao. Worried about your speaking? Trying to get your message across? Got an important keynote speech and concerned that the words you're pronouncing are not spot on? Why not head to our website and check out our diagnostic accent and communication consultation? This tailored 45 minute session allows you to sit with one of our speech pathologists who is qualified to assess every single sound of English pronunciation. We will take some recordings of your current speaking, identify the sounds to address that need improvement to get the maximal impact, gather some information about what your communication goals are to take you forward socially, in your career, or just to benefit English pronunciation across the board. Voice Science, advocating for communication impact proudly since 2013. Again, say it again. You're saying you're sorry, so say it again. Only you can make my world go black. Say you love me, then you take it back.